What's up guys, Jay here and welcome to another video. Um, today, I want to get into just how amazing Need for Speed 2015 will be. And I know it seems like I'm bigging it up a bit too much. Um, and the hype is a bit over the top. But it's really not. Because if you think about how long it's been since Need for Speed has actually been in its essence. Of its pure customization of the, the amazing things you can do to your car. The amazing community that Need for Speed held you will understand that this is going to be a revolution this is going to be a change because in the car scene in regards to gaming it's not been that amazing Let, let's let's be honest um so i just want to talk about how it will it will be amazing it will just be amazing like it will be the the actual it will be a, a landmark in gaming to be honest it will be a, a, a time where Everything's great. Come on, Rocket Bunny Body Kits. It's just... If you've played Need for Speed No Limits, which I actually managed to get my hands on yesterday, and I've been playing it a bit, I might get some gameplay, might not, depends on how I um, feel about it. If you've played Need for Speed No Limits, then you will know that the customization is going to be pretty darn good. Um, it's going to cover everything you need, everything you want. You're not ever going to be like, oh, I can't do that, because you can, because the customization is so deep and so dense that you can do anything to your car that you actually desire. Um, in regards to car lists, which I've, I think I've done before in a, in a previous video, I've kind of changed my mind a bit on, what, on my um, opinion on the car list and what we can expect. I, you know, I said that I didn't really want any exotics, but. They're probably going to put exotics in because in this day and age exotic cars are seen as they're looked at more normal, if that makes any sense. I mean a lot of games there are rare it's rare that you see a game nowadays with that they don't have any exotics because it they're dream the people's dream cars and one of the reasons why people love racing games so much is because they can live their dream. Basically, they can create cars that they want that they would love to have in the future you can even design your car in this and then get ideas for the future you want to make your own car in real life use a game to to forge your idea to model your idea and um, well maybe i'm being a bit far-fetched there with that but anyway it's it's just gonna be really cool to see the return of a king the return of one of the best racing games of all time um We've seen we've seen a bit of the information in regards to the actual story mode, you know, the different parts and everything. I'm not gonna go into that. If you want to see if you wanna read information on that, I'll link you to a video that covers every single thing about that kind of shit. Um canyons and everything. Um explained by my man, straight up hippo, also known as Cam. So that will be in the description if you're looking for a bit more deep of an explanation. Explain, explain, explanation. But I just want to speak briefly on what my opinion is and how I feel about the game and how it's going to basically dominate my life. And I actually won't have a life after this comes out. I will basically probably indent my chair. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't think I'll see daylight to be honest. Um, so yeah, this game is going to be something big. I hope you guys are ready for an actual takeover. Because if this doesn't tempt you to want to buy it already with the, just the little teasers, just that little teaser video, then boy, you there's something wrong with you because it looks fucking stunning. That's nah, just as simple as that. Um, gonna go off topic a bit here. I want to talk a bit about Forza and what I've said about Forza because I've, I've said quite negative things about it lately and I kind of want to revoke a little bit of it because it's not entirely true, it's not entirely what I think um, I think I was just a bit pissed off at the fact that Forza is dying and it's a game that I've been playing for such a long time and it has such huge potential to be one of the best racing games but it just lacks just a few things Forza Horizon 2 isn't a hardcore racing game 
So if you go on Forza Horizon 2 and try and compare it to Project Cars, you're an idiot. It's a fun, watered down version of Forza that you can enjoy yourself on. It's an open world racing game. It's got some customization, not every aspect of customization you would want really. But it doesn't, it's not Need for Speed. You know, maybe that realm doesn't need to be filled because Need for Speed has already got it. Um, so, if I've said anything about the customization being shit on Forza, if I've said anything about the customization not being good enough, I do revoke that because Forza has its own strengths and weaknesses, as Need for Speed has its strengths and weaknesses. And, you know, I'm not, I'm done slagging Forza off because, okay, they've done wrong. Forza 5 was atrocious. I'll never revoke that. It's a bad game. It's just as simple as that. But who's to say Forza Motorsport 6 won't be? It's uprising, you know, it's comeback. So you can't judge yet because we're not we're not fully into the air yet. We haven't seen E3. E3 is yet to come. We could see Midnight Club come back. That's been circling around. I've seen that on my timeline and stuff. I'm not going to speak on that because I haven't got hard information. Um, so I don't feel like I need to speak on that yet. But imagine if Midnight Club came back. That that's whoa 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 what what the fuck? Two of my best, two of my favorite games ever coming back in the same year. What the fuck? That could happen, you know. So we can't really judge yet. So I'm just gonna sit back. I'm gonna watch. Um, I'm just gonna see how things go. In regards to Project Cars, which is a new game. Now I haven't played Project Cars, but I've watched countless videos, even before the game was released properly, and I, I don't know. I'm really near on it because it. People are saying it's better than Forza. People are saying it's better than Gran Turismo. People are saying it's the best racing game they've ever played. But is that because it's so realistic that it feels like a like a simulator should? Um, yeah, probably. But the reason why Forza and Gran Turismo have certain titles is because of the other things they have. You know, the car list, the customization, you know, the actual community. Project Cars is a strict racing simulator. And for some, that is not enjoyable. For some, that's not amazing. For some, that's a meh of the game. Now, I'm not saying it's shit. You may disagree with me on that. But when it comes to publishing a game you've got to make sure you actually please your fans now I, I do give them I'll give them give them the d benefit of the doubt that you know it's the, it's a debut game it has it hasn't ever been out before this is the first one so you know we'll give the, the car list the, you know we'll give it give it one off because it is like it's it should be called Project Cars. Project Cars. Project Tracks. <laughs> Excuse me, tripping up there. Because the tracks are just endless. I mean, that's brilliant, but where are the cars? I mean, I'll run out of cars to drive soon. And, you know, you can't really own a car on Project Cars and make it feel like yours because there's hardly any customization. In fact, I think it's little to none. And, you know, that's something that makes car games brilliant. The fact that you can own a car and call it your own and do stuff to it and upgrade it and see how you can bring it from nothing to something, that brings an aspect to the game. So in regards to Project Cars, um, I'll give it a, I'll probably give it a 10 out of 10 for the actual simulation aspect of it. And again, again, I haven't played it. This is me. This is a basically all I'm just judging it on what I've seen. So I can't really judge it. But if I was to, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for simulation. And I'll give it probably a 5 out of 10 for actual game. Because it misses a lot of aspects that other games have, if that makes any sense. But um, I don't know if this was a rant, because I feel quite calm. I feel quite you know, like I've made things right with my um, opinions against Forza. Because I do apologize for the slagging off I've done with that. It doesn't deserve it. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. If you agree, disagree, you know what to do. Comments below. Um, if you want to hear more of my opinions or if you want me to shut the fuck up, then let me know. And I won't shut the fuck up. I'll just carry on. 
Um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. All that stuff there. And I'll see you guys soon.